Welcome to Bella's Bargains, where everything is from the Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar, people. A dollar. This is Effingham. He, my cow, he goes with me sometimes. Hope you'll stick around and consider subscribing. But I love you Seems like I'm always Thinking of you Oh, oh, you treat me badly I love you madly You really got a hold on me You really got a hold on me, baby I don't want you, but I need you. Don't want to kiss you, but I need you. Oh, 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 you do me wrong now. My love is strong now. You really got a hold on me. You really got a hold on me. love you so but you really got a hold on me you really got a hold on me okay guys hey welcome to bell's bargains that was sung for who wanted that uh sabrina wanted to hear smoky robinson it's actually the miracles smoky robinson is this amazing amazing musical icon anyway um so did you guys know he wrote my girl my girl, which I sing, my guy, my guy, my guy. Because he wrote for The Temptations. He produced and wrote for The Temptations. But he was the lead singer for The Miracles. Wrote, like, a bunch of their... Well, he wrote My, my Girl, which there was another guy that wrote with him. But anyway, amazing guy. So there you go. There was a little Smokey Robinson for you. Do you have his favorite Smokey Robinson song? I just like his voice. Okay. Welcome to Bella's Bargains. I've already said to say it again. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today is... Totally easy Tuesday. It's one of the ones you guys really like. Matter of fact, I get like a lot of views on Totally Easy Tuesday, so that's good. That's because I take Dollar Tree Drab and turn it into Dollar Tree Fab. Yes, so we're gonna do that for you today. Couple really quick things. Um, today is Tuesday and I do a weekly giveaway. And so right now, we're gonna see who won our weekly challenge. All right, so our winner today is Wanda. Wanda, you won. Wanda Cruz won. Um, I thought you'd won before. I had to check my list. I was like, wait, what? Wanda's never won. So it's your turn, baby. So send me your address, and I'll send you off your $20 gift card. I need to say, you guys, the gift card's going away. Um, number one, it's really hard for me to stay on top of it. I know that sounds silly, but there's so much going on. And also, I mean, I'm spending, you know, like 100 bucks a month, and... So, I love you guys, but I'm going to do other giveaways. So, I think I'm probably going to end these soon. I thought I would wait till the beginning of the year, but it just keeps getting harder. So, then we're going to get into Christmas and all that. So, I'll take it week by week. How about that? But right now, if you watch Tuesday and Thursday and you give a thumbs up and you are a subscriber and you make a comment on both videos, you're entered into a drawing to win a gift certificate for $20 to a Dollar Tree gift card. Imagine that. Also, I do a subscriber's challenge. And this month it was candy corn. It's probably too late to get on it now, but I need you guys, if you did do it, to get mirror pictures by Saturday, um, which is the 30th. So the subscriber challenge is I give you guys a theme or something, and then you make something, and you send me photos of it, and I put it in a video on my channel. It's really fun, and then it's fun to see what everybody else creates. The only thing I ask is that you use um, Dollar Tree uh, stuff because, I don't know, because I'm a Dollar Tree channel. Okay, if you've never been here before, this is a Dollar Tree channel. Like, everything I do is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And you want to know why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a dollar. Unless you go to a Dollar Tree Plus, then they're one, two, three, four, or five dollars. But most of us still only have Dollar Tree, so I think I can use it a little bit while longer. I want to show you guys this, you guys, this the cutest thing ever. So there's um, a friend of mine, his little boy. Um, I have to get it up here so you guys can see it. 
his little boy, um, he was, he was, hold on. I'm trying to get it to get back here and then stop it. So he, um, obviously he knows me like, you know, and he was watching on his mom's phone and he goes running into the kitchen because he has to tell her what he saw on his phone. Don't, don't look at the reflection. That's all my craft stuff that I'm doing right there. He was so excited. It was so cute. Look at watch his face. Because he realized it was me. It was so funny. Anyway, I just had to share that with you guys. <laughs> like, it's Amy. Um, you know, it was just cute. Okay, so let's see. Oh, now I got to shut my... Stop! YouTube. I mean, Facebook, stop. Okay, wedding countdown. Oh, my gosh, you guys. If you're new to my channel, stick around. You're going to have some fun. We're like, we're just have so much fun here. And we, we're just wacky crazy. And I'm getting married in 19 days. Uh, uh. Okay, so this weekend... We did some stuff. I'm at the end of this video. I'm going to show you guys what I did. And then I'm going to show you what he's working on. Cause it's quite obnoxious, but we had this one flower, like no living, nothing living in our yard. There's three cactus in front. Those don't count. Um, in the backyard, it has absolutely nothing. It was a blank slate when we bought it. The only thing that was there was a beautiful pool and we did everything else. And it was great. Cause there was no plants for me to kill. So, but there was this flower bed. You had to put something in there. So I got some succulents. I'm like, okay, if they die, I'll just replant them. Um, so I'm going to show you what I did there because it actually looks pretty good. I'm kind of proud of myself. Did you guys like Effingham's new outfit, Effingham? Are you pretty okay with this, Mr. Mr. Effingham or Mrs. Effingham or Miss Effingham? The Effingham. The Effingham. <laughs> anyway, I think Effingham likes this uh, thing. I did buy him some her, it, <laughs> the cow. I bought the cow some eyelashes, but I'm going to put them on after the wedding because right now we're in pirate mode. Bestie boxes. I got some bestie boxes. Let's go to those first, then I'm going to show you what I made. So I'm super excited. I love bestie boxes. This one is from Kathy. And um, I only know that because she's in, in, I know where she lives. Because there's a wedding gift in here with a card. So I'm like, oh my gosh, how sweet. But she sent me some other things. Why? I don't know. Because she's just so sweet. But I'm obsessed. Now, Kathy works at a Dollar Tree. I'm like, did this come from the Dollar Tree? I don't know. She's going to have to tell me. Is this not the cutest thing like ever? He's like a little shelf sitter. I'm, I, I love him. I want you. <laughs> I'm like, Kathy, why? That's so sweet. I don't even know why. But I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And then there's this one. Ah, oh, it's, they're so cool. They're so sweet. I used to have an entire Christmas tree that was red, white, and blue. Mm-hmm. And then um, in the moves and all that, I'm like, I don't need 17 Christmas trees. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to throw all this down on the ground. It's going to be in my way right now. Kathy, this is so sweet of you. My bestie box from Kathy. So nice. And then I don't know what's in this one. We're going to see. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. There's another one. These are two adorbs. It's a set of three, you guys. Look at how cute are these. I love them. Absolutely love, love, love them. So cute. I want to put them on like a little shelf thing to hang up. That's so cute. I almost want to go see no, hear no, do no, be no evil. This one's, oh, this one's standing on his hands. Duh! That's so cute. Kathy, thank you so much and then there's a card in here that says to mr and mrs my guy which is for our wedding so there's some wedding gifts first wedding gifts we've gotten kathy just so you know i don't need any wedding gifts but thank you very very much i certainly appreciate you thinking of us oh there's more stuff down here oh my goodness oh this is so cool Rose all day, pop the court with this celebratory soap fragrance with notes of sugar, peach, rosebud, fizzy apricot, sparkling champagne. How cool is that bar of soap? Wow. I think I might put it out on the wedding. Is that okay, Kathy? Like, you know, 
It seems like it would be a wedding-y kind of soap that would be in the guest bathroom, don't you think? Oh, I love that too. Oh, trick or treat, tissue paper, thank you. I'm gonna use this to wrap up some of the stuff for the grandkids that, um, you know, I'm always dropping them stuff. Wow, thank you so much. Is this from Dollar Tree? Because I didn't see this there either. I know it's Hallmark, but they do get Hallmark there. Thank you, Kathy, very, very, very much. I think that's it. I think I got all my stuff out of the bestie box. Wow, how sweet are you? Gonna have to start, you know, putting the wedding gifts somewhere now. But you're the first, you're the very first one. So <laughs> I don't know if that means anything. Is it like good luck for you if you're the first one to get the bride and groom a gift? I'm not sure. But I'm just, I gotta say, I'm obsessed though with, with, the, with the Uncle Sam's. These are just too stinking cute. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They're so cute. I might just put them on my wall all year long. You know, why not? Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, and then the next one I have to open up. Thanks, Ian and Kathy. I love you so much. It's so very sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my bestie. And the other bestie box is one that I knew was coming. And this is from Christy at Crafty Country. And um, it's the sign that she made that she put on a video. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. It says, Bella's Bargains, a thousand besties. How cute. And then this side says the date. It's October 1st, 2021, and going strong. How cute. Where am I going to hang it? I feel like I should hang it where you guys can see it, yeah? I'll take down the sign I made. I think we should go this way. There we go. I don't know that it's going to stay there. It doesn't quite fit. Okay, but for now, thank you so much, Chrissy. That is so adorable. I'm going to have to start a little space in my office because I'm collecting all these things now. And um, I was thinking like, oh, I'll put like a little area in my office, which I think I would then put it. I'll put that there. But thank you very much. That's so cool. When are we going to hit? We, next is 2,500. I think that's going to take a little longer to get down, get to. All right. Is that it? Um, okay. Oh, yeah. So when Nancy and I were shopping... What's her name? I'm going to look really quickly. The lady that ran into us. Oh, I, ah, mm, is it Kathy? No, Heather. Heather? Is it Heather? Mm, okay, so hold on. So she sent me a message, and then she she made a remark. I think it was on Saturdays. Is it Saturdays? And um, I wanted you guys to go on there so you could see what she wrote. It was Saturdays. I'm pretty sure it was Saturdays. Let me just double-check that right now. I should have looked before. So anyway... She says, I'm the one that ran into them. And, um, ah, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Was it Saturdays? I thought it was Saturdays. It's Kathy. It is Kathy. Kathy P. So on Saturday's video, she made a comment. She said, I'm the lucky one who was able to witness Amy and Nancy in action at the DT. They were having too, just too much fun shopping and bouncing ideas off each other. Yes, I should have gone up and said hi. Hopefully I'll run into them again. Thanks for all the fun and the great vlogs. Oh, I just got back from a big haul myself. Now I have to go back for those socks. So anyway, I want you guys to know, the lady that ran into me, she did message on there. So she's one of our new besties. Her name is Kathy P. All right, should we get to what I did, you guys, this week? Remember, it's Totally Easy Tuesday, so these are totally easy. So I started out, they had these little pillows at Dollar Tree, okay? They're like door hangers. So there was a set, there was four of them. I picked all those up. And so today, I took all those four pillows and made four different things with you. So they're also different too. So that's what I think is cool about this. So the very first one, I took my pillow off my couch and I made this a uh, fall pillow. So on the back side is my elephant. And then on this side, because it was blank, I put this. Now, the greatest thing about this, you guys, is this will come off. I can just slide it off the pillow, put it away, and then get it out next year and put it back on my pillow. And that is so easy. I'm not requiring having to stash a whole pillow for a whole year. And actually, I think this looks really adorable. It's like a pillow on a pillow. So, and I do love the graphics on there. I think it's really cool. And it was so easy. Obviously, I cut the tags off, because they had tags on all of them. And I just cut the string off, and I just cut it super close, so you can't even tell. And I glued it on a ribbon, and there you go. Then what I did was I did this with twine back here, cinched it together because then it was easy. Slip on, slip off. Um, 
How easy is that? So easy. So easy. I'm going to be honest. It would have looked better with the green ribbon, which you'll see in the thing, but I didn't have enough green ribbon. So I used the orange, although the orange is fine too, but I really love this green. That's why I don't have enough of it, obviously. Okay. Then I took, um, I don't know what order they're on on the film, but this is, this is one of the little pillows. And all I did was upscale it by adding a little truck on it and a little ribbon. And now it looks even better. We took Dollar Tree Drab, turned it into Dollar Tree Fab. And this is, hangs on your door handle. Just a cute little decoration on a door handle. I mean, you could hang it on a wall too. You could hang it on a chest of drawers. There's all kinds of things you could hang this on. Super cute. I love these and um, easy. So I just did a crisscross bow on it. You know, nothing too fancy. Just the crisscross, cinch it all up. I have these little ornaments. The truck ornaments are super cute. I'm using one on here, I thought it was very cute. And I like that it's the green. So I popped it with the green. The other color of those trucks, I think, are blue. Boji is in the paper that I threw on the floor. Um, so the green is really good. And if you see, there is green there. So we're popping some of that out of there. I just like it. It's very bright. I think that's really cool. Then I took, I had a box top. You know, I call their, their shadow, their boxes. I call them box tops because it's like a box top. Anyway, um, I took and um, took one of their little, it was a doggy. Hold on, I'm peeling this tag off. I don't know how I didn't get the tag off before now, but somehow I didn't because I always pull tags off. Anyway, it was a doggy one. It was kind of it was kind of cheesy looking, but I bought it just because it had like the um, it was a fall color, and when I got my fall stuff together, I literally went and got this out of my other stuff and put it in the fall. So because it was like this nice brown, can you see the color there? All right, so and it had little doggy ears on it. It said wolf inside. So all I did was make this like a stuffed box pillow to sit on a shelf, or you could hang it. Um, you'll see in the video what I do just so you guys know it's fairly easy these sides the sides aren't glued in Because you don't have to so I ran a bead of glue on the top tucked it in Then ran a bead but then did a bead of glue on the bottom and tucked it in and then you'll see me just use scissors I think just to tuck it in I want to make sure the seam got in all the way um, I think this is super cute this way. It says bless our family added some leaves on the top just to give it well oops I have a string going, but it's from my burlap ribbon. Anyway, added some leaves on the top and a little bow. These bows are the ones that I took off the scarecrow because you know I'm hanging on to everything. I always do. And just gave it a little pop. And it sits on a shelf, but you can hang it if you want. There is a hanger on it. Okay, so any of those box tops would probably work for this. But I just want to show you like a totally different way to do this. It's not, you know, a pillow. You don't think about making it a standing shelf thing. So, sorry, I got to hold this steady. See, and it stands on its own. And I did wrap the box with the ribbon on it just to give it um, a little bit more decoration on the side. And I think this came out really pretty. I like this. Okay, super easy. And the last one that I did is like a sack, a sack floral holder. Um, okay, so hold on. I just realized I'm punching this out right here. That's okay. So I... Um, I took the seam of the pillow. Whoops. <laughs> oh, I know. I took the seam of the pillow on the top and I opened it up. And then I took some, you hear that? There's like rock in there. So I took some of the decorative rock and threw it in there to weight it down so it would stand. And then I put some picks in it and cinched it. This is the coconut shred stuff that's the, you know, that's the plant liner that I'm always using and just put that around there and made it just a cute little sit on your shelf decorative piece, right? Just another way out of the box to use a pillow form. So that's it. That's what I made for you this week, you guys. So simple, so simple. I'm not overwhelming myself with crafts because I've got this wedding I have to finish. So that's it for today. Hey, that was a totally easy Tuesday. All right, everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing, crafty, crafty, or happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, I'm going to insert right now the video really quickly of what I did outside yesterday, just so you guys can see some wedding progress. How about them apples? Um, and I didn't make anything today yet, have I? I have not made anything for the wedding today. I did Effingham yesterday, so that was enough. And they did the garden. So let me just show you what we did outside in wedding prep. All right, guys, we'll see you back here 
Maybe tomorrow. these four little I mean I would call them door hangers they're like four little miniature pillows and so I'm gonna take and make a couple of things with these four pillows there starting with I have a pillow from my couch on this side there's an elephant and this side is blank and so I'm gonna turn this little pillow into a decorative fall pillow for um, that I can just you know, have it for a fall decoration. Anyway, all right, super simple. Gonna cut those tags off first, and I just cut them really close to where they're sewn in, and you can't see them at all. Then I was trying to pick which ribbon, because I'm gonna put a band of ribbon around this pillow, and then, um, put that on there. But the green, not quite long enough, so I opened up the orange. It doesn't matter, either one is fine. And then I just cut it so it was long enough to go all the way around the pillow. And then what I did, because I wanna be able to remove this, put it away, and then put it back on next year. So by using the jute twine, just to cinch it and tie it together there, it's fairly easy. Um, I think I'll be able to actually slide this on and off, maybe. Anyway, and then um, I put some cardboard underneath just so I could glue the pillow on and it wouldn't glue to the glue the small pillow and it wouldn't glue to my big pillow. It would just glue to the ribbon. And that was it. Like, I literally, this was so simple. And I'm not sure I showed it, but I cut off the strings on the top. Super simple. And this makes a beautiful harvest pillow. This next one, I'm um, just going to make it exactly what it is, which is a door hanger. I guess you could hang these on a wall too, but um, I think they just cute, look cute hanging off a doorknob. Just grab some different ribbons, and I'm just going to do a crisscross ribbon um, or a rag ribbon. I mean, you could call these, I don't know, everybody calls them something different. I call them a crisscross. I've heard people call them star, rag, but anyway, I just crisscross my ribbon in a bunch like that and then tie it all up, bunch it together. And this couldn't be any easier. But I decided like I was gonna, tr there's a wire on this little truck ornament thing and I was gonna try and wrap it around the string and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, in the end it didn't work. I was like, okay, it just, I just couldn't get it to hang right. So I undid wrapping it around the twine and just put it back on there, like looped over it, which worked much better. I think this is so cute. Talk about taking it from Dollar Tree Drab to Dollar Tree Fab in so little time and for so easy. It's amazing. I used you twine to tie the um, bow onto the cord and then just put the truck ornament over that. Anyway, super cute. It's hanging on one of my door handles because I love it. This is a little bit different take. So I know these are pillows, but I'm gonna make it like a flower sack, flower holder, flower, F-L-O-U-R, flower sack, but flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, holder. So I opened it up, I just took the, and opened up the seam, and then I'm just taking some white rock and pouring it in there to weight it down so it'll stand up. 
Um, you could use whatever you want to put in there. I just use the decorative white, right? What white rock because I knew it was um, going to be not too heavy and not too bulky. And then I just started organizing my picks in there, and I went strictly with pumpkins and some berries. Put some of my coconut um, shred in there. Took a jute twine, cinched it all up. This is really super cute, super easy, and a great way to use those little pillows that's out of the ordinary. Then just glued a little jute bow on there, which was left over from some other thing that I took them off of. By the way, I used furniture markers to fix any white spots on the berries. just a little wooden box they had that was like a dog thing and I just took the ears off that's all I had to do was just get those ears off there and then I'm just making this sort of a quilted box almost so I just want you to notice I put white glue I mean white glue hot glue on the top and sort of rolled the pillow in and then did the same thing on the bottom just trying to get the seam on the bottom that seams in on the top of the bottom Pretty easy. I didn't put any glue on the sides. Then I took a ribbon and just um, wrapped it around the box part. Then we're just going to decorate up the top just a little bit. Nothing too fancy, just some a bow and some leaves. I ended up using another one of those like burlapish bows that came off of something that recently that I did. I think it was the scarecrows. It was the scarecrows. <laughs> And I always hold on to because I think, oh, I'm going to reuse it. So it worked perfectly here. Anyway, this was, again, super easy, super cute. What I love about this is it now becomes a shelf piece because it's sitting, you know, it's in a box. planter area that had no plants and so I put some in and then we dug up some like that big rock we dug up as we were digging to put the plants in and so I just added the rocks to the to the landscaping and this is like a little fire pit thing we don't really use it um, maybe someday and then there you go so that's that's what I did yesterday and then I had to take gravel from up there and fill it in so that we, you know, we just filled in around the things with gravel. So it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. So now this is all, this part's all done for the wedding. Okay, there's that. And then there's, this is what Marcus is working on. He's literally building a pirate ship. <laughs> it's going to be amazing if we get it done. But yeah, so it's exciting. Here's the backyard from this view. Don't look, there's still a lot of messing going on because we're building and whatnot. Um, anyway, okay. So, but that's what I did yesterday, getting ready. I think it looks really good. Pretty happy with it. Bye, besties.